Hi everyone, welcome to a slightly different episode. I've been really unsure about recording this podcast, but it's International Men's Health Week and maybe my words will help those who desperately need to feel connected, reassured or even just loved. I wanted to share a story with you about being fine. Uh, If you are a man, please don't switch off as I hope that what I share may inspire you to think about those around you or even I hope I may speak the words on your mind. I'm fine. This post will be brilliant. I'm going to use the best and most popular hashtags and I need to connect to my audience. Yes, this looks great. And send. Ah, done. Hmm, okay. This is strange, it's not really doing much. Whoops, did I not post at the right time for the best engagement? Hmm, no, it's probably because the post wasn't gripping enough to engage. Yes, that's got to be it. Hmm, let me have a look through the feed. Oh, wow, their their post looks amazing. Wow, that's an incredible amount of likes. Why am I not getting that many on my post? Oh, wait, hang on. Wow, wow. Oh, my God, that's a lot of people getting back to work. Wait, hang on. How how come they're going back to doing what they love? And I'm still sitting in my office staring at my calendar, waiting for my first piece of work to come in since nine months ago. Wow, they look really busy. Ricky, why aren't you back to doing what you love? Maybe it's because you didn't do something right. Maybe you're insignificant or maybe you just aren't good enough. Don't worry. It's okay. I'm fine. Well, it's a little frustrating. The stars were aligned. You got made redundant one week before the lockdown. And now even after 12 months later, you still can't do what you love to do to the full extent. I mean, Ricky, you left a career to fulfill your passion in life. But it's okay. The government doesn't want to give you any financial support. But hey, it's okay. Let's just keep moving the goalposts further and further away. It's okay. I'm fine. Ricky, you are everywhere on social media. You are so busy. Oh, thank you. I'm just having a lot of fun, really, trying new and exciting things. It's great. I love it. Ricky, are you busy doing nothing? And Ricky, busy doesn't pay the bills. I know, brain, but (laughs) brain, not to panic. There's an announcement coming soon, and I do hope that uh, there'll be some light at the end of the tunnel. So, brain, don't worry. I will be back doing what I love again and earning money to pay the bills. It's okay. I will be fine. What is normal anymore? What is the measure of success? How will we know we have got there? How can you do your bloody job in a global pandemic when the goalposts just keep on moving? It's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, but there are other pressing matters in the world, right? I mean, people have died and they are losing their lives. uh, And that's horrible. And we are still in a global pandemic. This isn't a normal way of doing business, especially in the wedding industry. But what is normal anymore? It's okay. I'm fine. Hmm. There's only so much of my savings left. Hmm. Ricky, how many months are you actually going to be able to keep doing this? Maybe it's time that you apply for Tesco's. Just in case. I mean, mean, you've got a baby coming now and uh, babies aren't cheap, right? Hmm. I'm fine. Well, at the end of the day, we're all in the same storm, so surely this has to end soon, right? Oh, hey, Ricky. Good to see you. How are you, mate? I'm fine. What I've just shared with you is uh, just a a reoccurring conversation with my brain. Uh, Some of you may resonate with this and others may not. But the main point here is to understand that it is okay not to feel okay. Perception is an amazing thing, isn't it? And although I am predominantly a very happy and cheeky chap, a cheeky chappy, Recently, I have had many low points. Some of these are about money, living, and of course, about the future of my business. And I even asked myself, why are you doing so much at the minute? Why are you putting in so much effort? What's the point in all of this when you just don't see an outcome? When will all of this effort actually pay off? Would it just be easier to just give up and go back to stocking shelves? And recently, To describe this as a metaphor, I have felt like I am alone in a dark cave. I am shining my torch to find that little crack in the rubble, the exit out of this darkness and some light to move towards. I am conscious that my batteries are running low and I am impatient to get out of this cave. How long will this darkness last and is there a way out? Now, thankfully, I have found a voice, someone that has called in the distance to give me hope to pat me on the back when times are tough and to reassure me that I'm adding value and I'm on the way out of this darkness. 
And although my problems and insecurities may seem highly unimportant to others and there are more pressing things in the world, I guess the reason I want to share this metaphor is because there are probably people out there who are in much deeper and darker caves than me and whose batteries have probably run out and they are no longer able to see their way out. Yes, this week is International Men's Health Week and there is a huge stigma, especially men, to sharing how we feel. I've shared about how low I felt about I'm frustrated, I'm not earning money anymore, I cannot do what I want to do. The restrictions and the announcements keep getting, well, I'm not even going to go into it because I'll be here all day, but the announcements mean that I can't actually do my job to the full extent and that's difficult. And whilst it's not a pressing matter in the world, it's pressing to me because I'm constantly thinking about, well, how long am I going to last? How long will my business survive? And social pressures and the way that society is painted often means that, like myself, men find it harder to open up and discuss feelings of vulnerability or even asking for help. But the evidence is clear that bottling up these feelings can make things worse. Men are often expected as stereotypes to be the breadwinners and to be strong, dominant and in control. But while these aren't inherently bad things, they can make it hard for men to reach out for help and open up. Uh, You may not know, but men aged between 40 to 49 have the highest suicide rates in the UK. And in England, around one in eight men have a common mental health problem, such as depression, anxiety, panic disorder or obsessive compulsive disorder. All of these facts are according to the Mental Health Foundation. And while I cannot say that I have been diagnosed with depression, I definitely have felt some anxiety and low points over the last couple of months, wishing and waiting for the world to go back to normal so I can do my job. But why am I sharing this with you? Well, I am truly grateful for my life and for fans of the podcast, you may think this is extremely strange timing after the announcement of my baby. For those who follow me personally, you will see that I recently did a gender reveal for my baby and I am truly, truly, well, we are both so over the moon and so excited. I appreciate it. It is a wonderful, wonderful miracle. And I am very, and I appreciate that I am a very privileged man with the life I lead. I have a a roof above my head, you know, and I'm very grateful for the life that I have. And as I've shared in previous episodes, when putting life into perspective, my problems are probably nowhere near as important as others. However, sometimes we can't escape that inner voice And that inner voice combined with a global pandemic, well, let's just say it can be a dangerous concoction. But if I hold my problems and thoughts within, thoughts like money, living and the unknown of the success of my business and my future, well, it won't get me anywhere. And it is okay not to be okay. And we need to get rid of this stigma about not opening up about how we feel. Recently, I have been opening up to more of my friends and family of how I feel and uh, sharing that I don't feel great. It's not fair, you know, and uh, although I felt like a sport brat saying it's not fair, I appreciate, as I said, there are more pressing matters in the world. But what I've started to do is to not focus on what I am not, but I'm now focusing on what I am. I genuinely believe that I am kind. I am genuine. I am adding value and I am enough. Yes, some days it doesn't feel like that, but I am sure that there are many people in dark caves right now and most probably darker than mine. And if you do take one thing from this podcast, remember you are enough, you matter and you are doing amazing just as you are. Like me, even if it doesn't seem that way, you are doing great. But it is okay not to be okay. And for those who may be thinking about someone who could be struggling right now, I, I urge you please to reach out because they may not have the strength like I did to reach out. So call that friend you haven't spoken to in a while. Call that person that's in your mind. Reassure them. Tell them they're doing great work. Give them a pat on the back. Let them know that you are thinking of them. And don't accept, I'm fine. Ask them how they really are. And you never know, those might just be the words that they need to hear today. So thank you for listening to this short episode. Uh, If you are in the dark right now, remember that you are not alone, my friend, and help is never far away. It is okay to not feel okay, but please reach out. Please head to the show notes. There is a link about International Men's Health Week. And as I said, please reach out. And for anyone who is thinking of someone, then please call them, reassure them, give them a pat on the back and check in and ask them how they really are. Because 
as I said, it might just be the words that they need to hear today. <laughs> 